What's up? Je suis okay. ok, ok, ok. Do I say ok at the start of every video? On the main topic, Season 12 is around the corner and it is going to overlap with the third Apex Legends anniversary, which is just a shock that three years already passed away. Time just flies when you get PTSD after every game of Apex Legends. But nevertheless, that means that the anniversary event is going to come, which means we need to warm up and see which things are we going to get inside of the event. Okay, the main thing, the skins. We only got renders of the epic quality skins, but that gives us a full look of what theme they are going to use for the event. Here is a seer skin, and as you can see, the first theme is going to be a forest theme with a tree style of some sort. So you can expect 12 skins with a green, brown, and white mix of colors. Octane skin, same thing, white face paint with base brown color and green details, then a rampart and rampage skin with the same style. The skins don't look that amazing, but also they don't look that boring either. This is a problem when you need to make many skins which are going to be made with the same colors. Then the second color theme, which is featuring a blue and chrome color mix with some other accent colors. And the same thing can be said with these skins too, because they are featuring the same colors. They are not bad, but they are not something exciting either. As I said, when you do many skins with the same color, it is really hard to make something good and I think the designers don't really care about these skins because of that. Because I think it would be really hard on their mental to create something unique, which is totally understanding if you ask me. I would have the same approach and low inspiration for a project like this. But these skins are not the end. Ma a boy Crorindo, who is the apex version of the Wayne Johnson in movies, found every single skin which we are going to get in the event. As you can see we are also going to get legendary skins which should feature a much better design even with the same colors because they will feature a custom 3D design. But still, we need to wait and see that. Also, you can see many charms at the end which are probably going to be free in the price track with some free event packs, normal packs, trackers, skins for weapons and holo sprays. This price track is probably the best one of the whole year. If you think that Christmas is the time of the year for joy and giving stuff away, you are wrong, it is season. 12. Because every of these skins could also possibly be sold for the normal crafting prices, which you can see on your screen right now. Last time the skins were recolors, and this time the skins are totally new, which could remove the possibility of these prices. But still, we need to wait and see the official blog post for the event. Another thing is the heirloom, which we are not going to get. We are probably going to get heirloom shards for a cheaper price because of the crafting prices and event bundles. So if you want to get an NXT expensive melee skin that you can only use with one legend which could possibly get nerfed so you won't use that heirloom ever again, now it is time to buy those heirloom shards. As I said, this is not the full list of the cosmetics which we are going to get. I think that we are going to get the full details a couple of days before the new season drops. So on that date we will know where our money will go. That's it, thank you for watching, bye!